I did for you today. Um, it's using my Tarte palette back here and a lot of Maybelline stuff that I wanted to use and some false eyelashes with a clear strip band. Um, if you want to see how I created this look, it's very simple. Um, not as dramatic as I normally do. I think it's very flattering though. Um, so, if you want to see how I made this look, look at my dog food in the back. I just got a new bag. Don't look there. Don't look there. Oh, look there. Don't look there. Wow. Keep on watching. Thanks. So I'm going to start with the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. It came with my Lorac Pro Palette that my friend Kim and Knits got me last year. And in my Perfect Palette video, that was that was my Holy Grail palette. I haven't used it lately, but it doesn't mean it's my, not my favorite still. Um, and I do like the primer. Uh, I think though, so far my favorite eye primer is still the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion. But they're all pretty comparable, I think. I'm gonna go a little bit under with that product. They're all pretty comparable. Wearing my NARS Green Nail Polish um, that I had gotten in my Boxy Charm box. That was a pretty cool box. Now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Color Tattoo. This one is in Bad to the Bronze. And with my little pinky. I'm wearing Kathy Kenyon ring she made. Yes, I am. Blending that over the eyelid base, or base on my lid. You and me. Dun, 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 dun. Tomorrow I get to babysit my nieces. Um, my uh, older brother is going to be taking my son with him to go out uh, practice shooting his uh, rifle we got him for Christmas pretty excited for him. He seems really excited. I'm going to use my Tarte palette. I thought I would challenge myself to see how many looks I could come up with it this week. I'm going to use... I'm going to start with... What color is that? I hate this thing. I hate this thing! Beaming Bronze. Put Beaming Bronze right here. And I'm going to push that over the color tattoo. It's a pretty shimmery, uh, kind of a dirty brass color. I like it. Dirty brass. Dirty brass. So I get to play with my nieces tomorrow. I'm so excited. I haven't seen them all week. They're adorable. So cute. So cute. Maybe I will, uh, maybe I'll bring some watercolors and some Play-Doh for Libby. I don't know, because Libby doesn't eat things, but I think a little bit would shove all that Play-Doh in her mouth. I think she would, my sweet little girl. Hey, where's my brushes? They're never where I want them to be. You think they would be, like, on demand in my, in my ready space. Uh -huh. All right, fine. A Kirkland brush. I'm going to take, what color do I want to go on my brow bone? I'm gonna mix these two together. Buttercream, frosting, and ideal ivory. I'm gonna go ahead and put that up here. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> this headband is a creation of my sister in law, Ashley. She's a perfectly posh consultant and that's who I get my perfectly posh products from just so you know 
In fact, I know that she knit, she will knit, anybody who orders from her, she knit them a headband that looks like this in any color they chose as a, like, gift with purchase kind of thing. As a gift with purchase. <laughs> well, that's my sister showing me the puppy gate she put up. Now I'm going to go in with, I want to use roasted chestnut, roasted chestnut. I use this fluffy-ish brush from um, Sephora. I'm gonna barely start pressing it in because this is a very pigmented shade. This is gonna be a good look for anybody with my kind of eye, the hooded eye shape. See, I'm kind of sculpting out my crease here. Adding the depth. The depth that is needed. Let's go to the sister. I don't know if you can notice, but see where my line is? I go above that and blend down into it with the shadow. I'm just blurring it out. Lighten it up. I'm going to take this blissful brown shade. It's a matte chocolate. And barrel it into my creasy crease. See, I'm doing like this little VC motion. Just to define that V area on the outer corner of the eye. <laughs> I'm wearing the necklace Kathy made me too. I'll show it to you better later. Tickles! <laughs> I got tickles. Alright. And take more of, with the same fleshy brush that I just brushed off, more of the buttercream frosting. Get that into my inner ear. Inner ear? <laughs> into my inner eye corner. <laughs> into my inner ear of infection. Hmm. Down with love! Taking a filbert shaped brush. This one's from e.l.f. And with the bronzy shade. You and me. Back into that uh, buttercream frosting. And with the rusted chestnut. The internet killed the radio star. Taking a big fluffy brush. This one's from Soho, London. You get it at Walgreens. Blending it up and out. Dispersing any extreme edges into my eyeshadow. Now with makeup wipe, clean up our under eye area. Yay! I am going to prime with the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. My mom actually bought this one before I did, and she really liked it. So I thought, oh, it reminds me of the texture of the Smashbox one. So I thought I'd give it a try. Kim did a review on this one. What a weird smell! really slick and it does do a nice job of actually it did a nice job of covering up my pores because I have large ones right here I 
with my Fit Maybelline in 130 liquid foundation. Down by the road. Da 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 da. Oh man. Anybody else having issues with their allergies? Getting my beauty blender, I'd wet it and put it on the counter. I'm having issues with my allergies when the trees are blooming. The mulberries. Oh lord, the mulberries. Instant, instant eye water. It makes a really, foundation makes a lovely luminescent finish on my face. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Sorry. I'm dying here. I'll correct that makeup in a second. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. dun. Good on Maybelline for creating some really excellent products as of late. Nice sheer flow with that. I'm going to use my Maybelline Instant Rewind Dark Circle Treatment Concealer in Neutralize. I'll start blending with my finger. It's a lovely concealer. It's super moisturizing and creamy. I love it. It's not too thick. Nice and liquidy. So it glides over my little wrinkles I have. Using this as a somewhat of a highlighter too. Going down in a triangle shape. I'm going to blend that with the beauty blender in a second. Going up the side. Ooh, bam. Beautiful color. I love this product. I suggest Kim go get it. It's so pretty. I love it so. Laura Mercier. Secret brightening powder. I just started following this. Um, it's a duo of, of women called Glam Moms, and they um, both do great videos. I really enjoy them. Cover curl powder just to pat it down. So this is my use up products for 2014. <laughs> Gosh, I still remember when I only used CoverGirl foundation. It was a CoverGirl Clean in that triangle shaped glass jar. Um, and it smelled like. Noxzema. This kind of does. Kind of does. Kind of. Maybelline Define a Brow in medium brown. This defined my brow. Wing did such a beautiful job on these. She's so talented. What a good girl. I like her. She's the girl who works at the Hung Salon across the street from where I live and she she's the one who keeps me looking all beautiful. Jessie's the girl who does my hair. <clears throat> but when does my when does my toes, feet, eyebrows, facials, hair hair treatments and she's just charming. My son goes to I think I've talked to her about it a lot, but my son goes to her as well. And her dad cuts his hair for him. She gives him a hair wash, face wash. Just come through with the comey end on that. And let's see, let's see what's gonna happen next, guys. 
I'm going to use my Lancome blush in Shimmer Mocha Havana. I gotta write this down so when I'm at uh, Macy's or Nordstrom's again and I want to buy a full size, I can. I still have quite a bit of product in this gift with purchase size though, so I can't complain at all. Let's see, mascara. We're gonna use the uh, Mega Volume Express by Maybelline with the Bouncy Boinky Brush. Boink. Boink. It's just the weirdest brush. I don't know what the purpose of that brush is, but it's a pretty good formula. It just took a second for me to get used to it bouncing every time I pulled it through my lashes. It's pretty buildable. Doesn't give you that tarantula lash thing. See? I think it's pretty. Other side, same as the first. Oh boy. Went to um, my sister's dog Claire's first puppy training session today at PetSmart. There was a Bella. She was a Doberman Pinscher. There was a Emma, a French Bulldog. There was a Luna, a Blue Tick Healer. Uh, what did she say it was? Another kind of cattle dog mix. And then Clara, who's a black Cocker Spaniel. Oh gosh, she's, in, she's just so pretty. A little Spaniel, so sweet, doesn't bark hardly. I'm going to use my Miss Adora Lashes in 747S. Sorry, that was, when I was pulling them out, they, they got a little wonky. These ones are a very flexible, thin band. So it takes a little finesse, but eventually you get used to it, uh, having to massage it into your eyeliner. That's why I didn't put any eyeliner on. I kind of wanted it to be... A little bit more about just the entire look than just the eye. My, uh, uh, that's not good, folks. Don't bite your things with your teeth. Don't do that. Almost done with this glue. It's my favorite one, the Duo Brush On Adhesive. I have two backups of this one because it was hard for me to find the first time I got it. And so each time I've seen it, I pick up another package. So I have two backups. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna put these on offline. So I'll be back with my lashes on. We'll finish up, okay? Got them on. Isn't that kind of simple and sweet? All right, we're gonna take some Physician's Formula uh, Powdered Palette Mineral Glow Pearls and Light Bronze Pearl. My little brush. We're going to do the top part of my nose like that. Just the tip, this lip. We're gonna highlight here, highlight here. I go from underneath my people, right here, right there, and back. And then we're going to highlight right here in a kind of a fan motion. here. <laughs> and let's start lining our lips. We're going to use the NYX Lip Pencil in Burgundy. Tilt you down a little. <laughs> Somebody must be out front and walking their dog. Maybelline Lip and Ruby Star. Hmm. 
No, that's not gonna work. lip in Coral Lester. No liner. I like that better. Yeah, I like that. your hair out a little, show off your gems. Did I show you this? Let me show you this. Don't worry. Isn't that just beautiful? It goes with the ring. And the earrings. Right there. And my nail polish coordinates. Yes it does. It's an accent nail. Isn't that nice? With my NARS nail polish. Anywho, this is the look. I think it's very day wearable. I think it's very pretty. I think it's very professional. And I think it's nice. I think you should try it um, with whatever palette you have. It's basically a burnished gold, uh, a shimmery uh, mocha brown, and a dark matte uh, milk chocolate. And just like your normal highlight, like a, a cream or something. Um, and a coral lip with a a subtle subtle blush so um, if you like this video let me know comment rate subscribe pass it on to your friends it ain't easy being green well not all the time but I try hard but it sure is fun <laughs> thanks for watching